Hi, uh, my name is Virginia Wade, and we're doing a series on my book, Angels, Demons, Ghosts, How to Identify and Respond to Supernatural Spirits. People that are reading the book, and they have ordered it on Amazon.com, are sending me emails and questions about the book and the subjects that it talks about. So in these videos, I'm answering questions. So we have one here. Um, it's Kevin, and he's asking, um, how do you know if you're talking to an energy vampire when you're talking to a person? And what can you do about it? What are the signs? Um, how does it affect you? And how do you know? So the answer to that, Kevin, is that when you're talking to an energy vampire, uh, you're going to feel drained of energy. You may start getting a headache. You get tired, kind of irritable, kind of restless. Um, you may get anxiety. And sometimes you won't even know it until... The end of the conversation with this person. Uh, what causes an energy vampire is that a spirit has attached onto their aura and is draining their energy like a parasite. Now they're not aware of this. A lot of energy vampires don't even know that they have a negative effect or a draining effect on other people. But most of them, like 80% of them, have spirit attachments. And once that spirit attachment is released in Jesus Christ's name and sent to the second dimension, then these energy vampires um, become normal folks. So that's the key. But if you are talking to an energy vampire, then immediately protect yourself. Um, and the best way to do that is to visualize a copper energy going through your body and around you. And then visualize a green energy over that. And that will protect you from any further um, negative influence of an energy vampire that you're picking up. Now, it is rare, but it's possible that the spirit attachment from the energy vampire may jump onto your aura. So that's why what's really important is in the morning to place the protection techniques the white light over your aura and within you and to ground yourself with the grounding cord and then visualize the purple light over the white light and then uh, the blue light over that and then a green light surrounding your aura completely. That will pretty much protect you throughout the day, at least for eight hours, um, in case you come in contact with an energy vampire. Um, but like I said before, we come in contact with all these different people throughout the day and we don't know, uh, what's going on. So one other tip would be when you get home or even after you talk to somebody that you don't feel good, you start getting depressed or you get nausea or you get headache or something like that, then you can go ahead and just right then and there, uh, visualize the copper light, the green light, and then um, send any spirit attachments to the second dimension in Jesus Christ's name, and also call on Archangel Michael, give him permission to protect you, and also to cut you free from any of that negativity. So those are just a few tips that you can do um, ahead of time before you even go out in the morning and then after you would 
talk to a person that you may start feeling weak or or tired so that would be uh, the best thing I can say on that now another question let's look on this paper and see uh, Susan wants to know about shadow people um, how is a shadow person different than a negative spirit? Now, it's pretty interesting because I've seen a shadow person. And they come in your house and, and they may either try to uh, put negative thoughts into your mind, like, and cause you to be depressed, uh, suicidal thoughts, disorientation, confusion, or they may not do anything and they may just walk by and, and not even acknowledge that you exist. Now, in my case, I had one that didn't even acknowledge uh, me. It just walked through my wall into the other apartment at the time. And then I talked to my neighbor the next day and I said, well, did anything strange happen? And she said, yeah, this, this black... Uh, shadow walked through your wall into my bedroom with a hat on and my niece we were trying to go to sleep and then we saw it trying to get into bed and we jumped out of the bed and we freaked out and then it just kept going and went out our front door and I thought oh well, that's interesting <laughs> so you know that was confirmation I knew I was seeing it but what you need to do, there's different levels of uh, negative spirits. So um, protect yourself in the morning, like I said earlier. Or it's a negative spirit, so send it into the, uh, to the second dimension in Jesus Christ's name. And that's how you handle that. Um, but there are different levels. If it's not attacking you or anything, it's probably doesn't have much strength and doesn't really care. It has not uh, been given a mission to come and attack you. It's just passing through. There's other demons that are, are negative spirits that are very um, strong. There's different levels. And they can be sent to you to attack you or whatever. That's why it's very important to... Uh, protect yourselves and ground yourselves and then um, look to God and the angels to help you and be with you um, stay in communication with them and like I said in my book um, I cover how to contact your guardian angel how to work with the archangels um, so you can go ahead and um, Go to Amazon.com if you like and order my book if you want to. Um, I'm just letting you know about it. Angels, Demons, Ghosts. And my website is www.opendoorswithin.com. If you want to send me any of your stories, questions, um, go to that website. You'll get my email address, and then you can go ahead and just uh, send me the questions. Okay, well, that's all we have time for uh, today in this video, but uh, we'll go to the next video, and I'll answer some more emails that I've gotten from people that are excited about my book and reading it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, like if you like, or subscribe. Uh, we'll be doing these videos once a week and I have all kinds of emails and questions so uh, this will be an ongoing thing okay thank you so much have a great day okay bye bye